I'm downtown in the Stonington Borough part of Connecticut. If you're familiar, you know exactly what I mean, right outside of Mystic, Connecticut. And right now I'm gonna be talking about pricing your music videos. That's one thing that I know for me, when first starting out, it was a struggle. Probably is a, a big struggle for a lot of you because you don't know where to start. You don't know how to go about it. So this video right here is gonna show you everything you need to know down from travel expenses to equipment, gear, and all that. See, for me, when I first started out, the hardest thing for me was getting clients to even want to book $50 videos. So I know, I know the struggle, trust me. And I'm here to tell you that it's not going to be like that forever. All you got to do, keep dumping out content. Even if you have to do a few free ones for a family member, make sure, make sure that your pride isn't bigger than your goals. Don't allow business to get in the way of friendships and don't allow friendships to get in the way of business. Because at the end of the day, that's what you are. You are a business, you are a brand. So make sure that uh, nothing comes in between that. Pricing out music videos for your friends. You're going to get a lot of people that are going to want discounts. Any other people, you know, you gotta you gotta put your foot down, cause uh, people will walk all over you. Start off small. Start off like I did, $50 a video. Give yourself room to grow. Give yourself time. Nobody's gonna catch on right away. This doesn't happen overnight, so if you think it does, you're wrong. Build a portfolio. Everybody wants to see what you can do. So like I said, if you if you gotta do a free video here and there, do whatever it takes to build your name up. I started at $50 and then I worked my way up. I'm at a thousand now. It took time. It took a lot of time. It took almost five years to work my way to a grand a video, but you gotta work your ass off. And there's no shortcut around that. The biggest thing for me is if you get clients that are not from your area, you're gonna have to put in a lot of travel time. With a lot of travel time comes a lot of gas, a lot of toll fees, a lot of hotel stays, a lot of airfares. However you travel, it's gonna come with a big expense is what I'm saying. So make sure that you always, always include that in the budget. To me, it's not the shooter's responsibility. It's not the cameraman's responsibility to take care of all of that. So uh, we're always remember um, airfare, travel time, uh, hotel, food, all of that should be included in the budget before even discussing any further uh, details. Um, another thing that I usually do is 50% deposit. You want your clients to pay 50% deposit before they even book you. you. Oh, you want to book July 29th? Okay, well, send me the 50% deposit. I'll hold the date for you. If you cancel, that's on you. It's not refundable. But at least you know whoever wanted to book that July 29th, you have something in case that person cancels on you and you could have booked the other person. You know what I mean? So, um, that's another smart way to go about it. Yeah, so it's starting to get dark. I'm about to head out of this area, but I got to run over to New London. You know, show my support for local talent that's in the area. I'm going to show up to a, a live concert music event that they're throwing down at Creative Connection. So let's go check it out. I'm about to perform. It's your boy Stussy with a V. I'm with Wanye Visuals. You know how it's going. We at Creative Connection. Shout out to my boy Swapski. We in the parking lot. We ain't even at Creative Connection, but it's always. No, we at Creative Connection whenever we. It's windy out here. Hopefully it don't catch. Yeah, hopefully it catch. You know what I'm saying? So we about to get to it. We're going to do a little set. That's why I'm going to do a little set. pop-up set, my man. This is the pop-up set. This is the last. I, I, I showed up to support. Next thing you know, we on the mic. That's how we're supposed to do it. It's going. It's going. How it's going. We turning up tonight. So it wasn't long before the music sets began. It only took less than three minutes to turn up and get everyone out their seats. New London is a small place where everybody knows everybody. And everybody who somebody will tell you this town is filled with straight talent. It don't matter where you're from or what kind of car you drive. If there's one thing I know for sure, art is a language that we all know how to create. See for yourself. See for yourself. See for yourself. See for yourself. See for yourself.
City TV, Nino you know, Black. You know, you know, I know what's up. Last year. Yeah, first time I heard it, I said, this the one. Yeah. And then she got up on Real Rap City TV. I knew she was a star, swear to God. Let's go. Let's go! Ain't no competition between me and you. Step back to the way that I'm moving. Ain't got a party around the tool. Remember, be happy, nigga, like, I never get tired. Don't run out of fuel. I think it's true. I don't know what I do. 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 I don't Wanye Visuals, we're over here at Crown Chicken in New London, Bank Street. Everybody came out. We got Brianna on the right. Yeah. And we about to uh, film the rest of the shot, man. Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're here for King Sess. We got um, KJ and King Sess. The song is called Chicken Spot, and that's how we do it. I got the Ronin S. I did get it. I had to get a brand new battery for it because this shit went on me, but we're going to keep it moving. You know the vibes. We got King Sess out here. Yeah. Behind the scenes King action. Sess. Behind the scenes. Chicken spot. Yeah. I don't know. Ah! Ah! Hey, not much to say. Like, the music speaks for itself. Come on. Y'all know the vibes. 100. Every bitch is fantasy. Come on. sitting here thinking about how long it actually takes to set up you know to get the lighting right to get everything perfect in a scene man that might be a next video i might make that another video i might make that a whole new topic i want to get back to how you should price your music videos if you are a music video director or filmmaker or whatever it is i mainly base my videos off of uh music videos so another way on how i go about pricing my videos is i don't just pick a number out the hat and roll with it that's not how i do you you got to do some math you got to do some mental math you got to make sure that everything adds up if the client's budget doesn't meet your expectations then sometimes it, it really isn't worth taking on the job and that's just what it is so make sure that you have all these things lined up you know if you got to jot it down and show the client you know this is what this is what I got to do this is this is the time that I'm putting in this is all the equipment that I'm using this is how much all the equipment was you know it all it all adds up it adds up it really does and jot it all down show the client I uh, take it from there so if your lens costs a grand you know the camera body costs three grand you know that 
that adds up. Of course, I'm not I'm not saying to charge your client four grand for a music video. I mean, unless you're to that point, then by all means do it. But what I'm saying is you know, take, take an account of all the equipment that you use, you know, take an account of the time spent shooting, editing, and not to even mention traveling to wherever you're going. And even if it's local, even if your music videos are local, make sure that time and effort is accounted for because who wants to drive halfway across the country for $200, $300, nobody. So just make sure that everything is accounted for travel, the hotel, the, the, the food, everything, everything. Make sure that everything is being accounted for because you don't want to be responsible for that. At the end of the day, I mean, unless you do, if you do, then by all means, you know, hook your boy up, hook whoever up. But uh, speaking from a business standpoint, you don't want to be taking on all these responsibilities when your job is to just show up, shoot, go back to the editing lab, edit it, and send it off. That's your job not all these things in between you know that's that's their job if they want you to show up give them services then you should be provided with what you need to make that happen i hope you i hope you get what i'm trying to say unfortunately not everybody is not every client is gonna feel what i'm saying you gotta put yourself in the director's shoes you have to put yourself in that position and, and, and once you do that you'll realize that uh there's a lot more to just shooting and editing also if you're just starting out don't expect to get 500 dollars music videos six seven hundred dollar music videos off the rip and don't be discouraged when you're not able to do that because as i mentioned make sure that you have enough content to show these clients your first couple of music videos are gonna i'm telling you right now they're gonna be free and that's just what it is for anybody that is just starting out they're gonna be free and you're gonna see your videos and you're gonna say wow i suck it is what it is we've all been there we've all been there keep going keep pushing and you're gonna get exactly where you want to be in no time i hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and smash the like button leave some comments down below if you're new to the channel you know what to do subscribe to your boy get familiar look at all of my videos they're down below actually there's one right here and one right here and i'll even put the subscribe button right here down below what are you waiting for i'll catch you guys in the next video